Hello everyone, welcome to the FileMaker Pro 14, an FM starting point video training course. This video course is designed to teach you all about FileMaker Pro 14 while maintaining emphasis on FM starting point. So while I'm training you on how to build solutions in FileMaker Pro 14 in the FileMaker 14 platform, this entire video course is designed to revolve around the customization and deployment of FM starting point for your business or organization. Now this training course is really specific to the FileMaker 14 platform. However, I'm frequently asked if materials from this course is applicable to older versions of FileMaker. Well, in reality, probably 80% of this course is applicable to older versions of FileMaker, like FileMaker 13, 12, and even 11. However, the farther you go back, the less it's applicable. So just keep that in mind. Now at this point, I'm assuming that you already have your own copy of FM Starting Point. In fact, you probably have a number of copies of FM Starting Point. If you don't, feel free at any time to go get a fresh one at fmstartingpoint.com. Now keep in mind, if your organization is still using older versions of FileMaker, that's totally cool because we actually have older versions of FM Starting Point that's tuned for older versions of the FileMaker platform. So you need to make sure that you get the right version of FM Starting Point for your version of FileMaker. You don't want to get the latest version of FM Starting Point and then try to use it with FileMaker 11 or 12. That'll just be a bad idea. So real quick, here's the grid of the versions of FileMaker and how they match up to the versions of Starting Point. And what you're going to notice is that we've kind of changed up the versioning here just a little bit. And that way in the future, when we get the FileMaker 15 someday, we'll actually have FM starting point 5. So the numbers will kind of match up a little bit. But at the current time, we have FileMaker 14 and starting point 4.5. And then, of course, going backwards, we have FileMaker 13 and version 4, FileMaker 12 and version 3, and those are the ones that you can get on our website right now. If you need FM Starting Point version 2 because you're still far enough back that you're using FileMaker 11, you can email us at support at RC Consulting. And we'll totally hook you up. Now, of course, I'm going to encourage you to buy a newer version of FileMaker. So moving along, during the course of this video, we're going to be trying to teach you how to develop new modules for your copy of FM Starting Point. You're going to be learning about the relational model within the FileMaker platform and how that relational model works with an FM starting point. So that means how you can connect contacts to accounts and how accounts can connect to invoices and projects and things like that. So you're going to be gathering the knowledge to potentially create with an FM starting point your own custom modules or to modify the modules that are already in there. Pretty cool stuff. Now keep in mind, every week customers contact me and ask about adding new modules for FM Starting Point. And by watching this video course and following along, you're going to be going a great deal of the way towards learning how to create your own modules yourself and how to connect these modules with an FM Starting Point. Now keep in mind, I've had my team at RCC go way out of the way to make sure that FM Starting Point is as simple under the hood as possible to make sure that it's as easy for you to learn how this works as possible. We wanted to make a very powerful tool but a very simple tool to learn. And a very simple tool for learning will help you be successful and if you're successful well that's great for everyone. That's great for you and your organization and that's great for FileMaker and the FileMaker platform. So sit back Buckle up and prepare for me to pour a ton of knowledge into your head as we learn about the FileMaker platform. Now along the way, feel free to send me comments to support at RC Consulting if you have questions, etc. Or if maybe one of the concepts in the video is not clear enough for you. Now just keep in mind, it could be that you're just having a hard time getting a topic, but sometimes I'm not clear enough in one of my videos. And if I get several emails from people about a particular topic, that's a really good clue for me that I didn't explain it well enough. And that allows me to know that I need to go back and clarify a topic. So just so you know, I really pay attention to the emails that come in. 
So your emails do matter to me and I do pay attention to them. So let's get this show on the road.